I'm like ready to go full bunker. I'm ready to lock down <clears throat> and just go completely tinfoil hat. You know what I mean? Just get away from it all. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. All right, you guys, we have two title contenders going head to head today in a joint battle of deliciousness featuring each of their, I would say, representative burgers, you know, their signature one that you would think of when you go to these places. So let's crack into it. Feeling hefty, less hefty, still feeling nice. And here we have another signature little friend from the Mac Attack Factor, but I had to get them. Yo, what up, bro? What's good with y'all? Back with another one today. This installment is basically the perfect fast food meal, in my opinion. Big Macs, amazing. Whoppers, my fave. Uh, nuggets, just they can do no wrong. So we have those. We have a couple sauces for those guys. And uh, before we do anything more, we must. Ba -ba, ba -ba, ba -ba, ba -ba. Four. So we got the iceberg ready heavy. Mr. Diet Dr. P. Crack attack that boy, and in we go. And while we pour, we must thank our friends who have clicked the link below for the coldest water and used code hoodie to save 10% on their entire purchase of anything that they got at the coldest water. And a bunch of you have been doing that, and that helps me because I get a little kickback from that, and the company loves me further, and we build a good rapport together. And uh, it's, a, it's a beautiful love story between all of us, you know? You do something cool, you get a snazzy water bottle, perhaps the 21 ounce or the 64 ounce, whatever you need. If you're a, a water behemoth, you might want to go with the 64. If you just take it back in tsunami-like waves into your mouthpiece, then you, you might want a 64. If you're out and about, you're on the run, you know, you're going to jujitsu. You want it to fit in the car holder. Check in with your boy, 21. 21 Savage. That's what I'm about to go on this meal. Because this is my final fast food uh, indulgence before I go into an underground bunker. It's happening. Oh, it's happening. All right, we're all set up. I figured I'd save you guys the annoyance of the sounds of the deboxing. So, Big Mac, looking nice, except for this pickle distribution's looking a little weird. That's looking good. And the nuggets, of course, are looking great. So, what I wanna go for initially here is a nice golden boy with that beautiful sweet and sour. Perfect. Just the best. Nostalgic. But that perfect crunch. Gotta love them. So, like I said, this could be the last fast food I hit for a while here because our city finally got some C cases, cases of the CV, the CVI. If you know what I mean, I don't want to name any names, but the whole world knows what we're talking about here today. And uh, my city has finally got it. So getting this today, it played with my mind a little bit. We're not quite there yet at that sort of level, obviously. And I'll tell you about that. But uh, is this blasphemy what I just did to this burger? For some reason, I felt so inclined today to to hit up a cross section. And I might have just learned my lesson that that is not what you do with a Big Mac. Still tastes amazing. So my city has three or four cases confirmed. Two 
two of which were like some 60 year old people coming back from Florida they got back self-isolated felt sick went to the hospital and came back positive they got sent home to further self-isolate and just get better normally mm. the lady though has now had to be admitted to hospital and she's 60 something so you know older people being affected but also now there's a new case of a 20 year old kid that came back I think from the UK um, I think was sent home to self-isolate as well so a few cases but what plays on my mind is they were on an airplane that a bunch of other people that when they landed here also live here so it's like who else on that plane will have it pop up in the next bit um, <clears throat> who did they come in contact at the airport their bags how many of their family members did they immediately see or come home to and like give it to and then <clears throat> before they even had symptoms where did those family members go did they go grocery shopping all that stuff I know that the Big Mac was a little bit of blasphemy but for some reason the uh, Burger Lords today are telling me to cross section these burgers mainly because I've never done it before <clears throat> and I want to know what the experience is like of eating a burger in this nature I think I like it It's certainly a more like neat and tidy endeavor. I burnt the shit out of my mouth, the roof of my mouth the other day, and it's like so annoying because. <clears throat> I'm starving and I want to eat stuff, but when I eat, it's like painful. So I can't wait for that to heal. But yes, we'll see how many cases start popping up around here. And I can't lie when you have that thinking of like you know there's that many people who have it but like what other people have they potentially infected that either show no symptoms or just haven't developed it yet and they're just out and about doing their regular thing that played with my mind when I was getting this food I was like is it really worth it to, to get this food right now if there's even the slightest possible chance that somebody in there might be carrying it So I decided 
One more. This is death row. That's why I got a Whopper, Big Mac, and the Nuggets. Could be the final meal that leads to my death row. Highly doubtful. But from here on out, I do feel as if I will be trying to avoid. I'm like ready to go full bunker. But now that it's here and it's going to start up sloping in terms of cases, I'm ready to lock down <clears throat> and just go completely. Foil hat, you know what I mean? Just get away from it all. Until I see, uh, you know, the peak, the spike, what it's going to do. I've got a bunch of freezer foods and things like that. Maybe do one more grocery run just to really top up. When I get home with the groceries, literally just hit it all with Lysol wipes. Spray it down. And then go full disappearance mode. Yeah, I think I like these burgers cut in half. I can, once again, without a doubt, say it. The Whopper <clears throat> is the absolute truth. When it comes to the Burger Wars, Cutting in of the in halfness makes it so you get like the most like dope bites. Perfectly structured. Not good. Delicious right down to the last drop of sauce. Mm. That was perfect. I hope uh, everything is going well where you are. If not, stay the fuck inside. <laughs> Try to uh, just wait this thing out, you know what I mean? Beat it by waiting and not going out where it is. Um, hope you enjoyed that one. Till the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well, stay true.